But yeah, um, I know what you're saying. With no recharge, maybe... I don't have that option, but I've asked for the config to give me that option. Or anything, you know, above it. Just so that I can change the uh, your low health end. Because we can already change the high health end. But the low health is set 100% at... Uh, yeah. What determines the amount that your shield regenerates per, t per second? It's right now. It's um, it is inverse. Uh, how to put it? It goes from X to 100%. You can set X in the config, right? Mm. Goes X percent of your region, your maximum region, to 100% of your maximum region, and that so is set inverse to your ship's shield health. So if you have 98 percent, then you're going to be at two percent along your region scale. So if you start with zero, you would be up to two percent at 90, 98 percent health. But proportionally, every ship regenerates shield health at the same rate. Yes, the, there is no difference the in the rate taken to it, notwithstanding. I mean, the, the 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 shield tick occurs at the same rate. What happens is your actual region um, is determined by your shield blood count. That's your maximum, right? Yeah, uh, you have 5.5 region per shield block per second. That's your maximum. Your shield health puts that on <laughs> a scale, right? Like I was telling you, that 98% puts you at two percent along your shield regen scale right we can well, set I mean, effectively the, we, we can we can set of a difference between shields not regenerating and what you've already got well what you have right now is shields don't regenerate when you have high health but when you have low health they're at 100 percent. they scale up as you take damage i have no way to adjust that 100 percent I've asked for a way to adjust 100%, but as is, I can only adjust your region at high health. I want to be able to adjust the integer you have at low health. Some people might ask, well, why don't you just change the region amount? It's like, well, because out of combat, I want you to have the region that you have now. Right. How long? Because well, I guess one right, now, it, how long right now it takes fire? 90 seconds to charge up your shields out of combat. Well, there's an existing hook for you are under fire, right? Because that displays to the client. Is that um, I... What? Why are we even on that? Be because I'm saying if you had a detection method... I'm talking programming now. But if you have a detection method for whether or not someone is in combat, then you can use that to adjust the shield regeneration rate. Yeah, we're already doing that. Is, that's what I've been talking about. Yeah, I think that uh, just to This just mechanic to... is only enabled when you're in combat. Oh, okay. Well, I misunderstood. I'm yeah, no, no, just yeah, just to cap, but catch you up. Yeah, you... If you're under fire, that's exactly how it works. Plus, you got it right. It's just you. Okay. Maybe we just had some lines crossed. But yeah, um, I think it sounds interesting to have no regen in combat, but I think a lot of people might. Um, yeah, I don't know the people in the chat right now I wonder what you guys think what do you guys think about uh, a shield system that does not well, regen are, are under, they in the game under right fire now? huh who's in game are you guys in the game right now I'm, I'm, I've got some people watching right now I'm just wondering if anyone's on your server right now um, I am. yeah there's some people on here we updated the shields on it, or rather, we tried that uh, zero percent at max health. True, true. I don't think anyone's so, really. No one's. This is the thing, mate. No, if you don't tell people, no one bats an eyelid because they don't know what to look for and they don't notice. Because that's the funny thing about numbers. Like I mean, Tabitha. It's yeah. It's it's, it's like um, yeah, like Tabitha. That was around for ages and no one knew about it. I mean, I'm not saying that the numbers aren't important because they are obviously but uh just the idea that 
if you tell someone we're taking away shield regen, they'll immediately go, now my shields aren't worth anything. You know? They won't. It's, it's difficult, I think, to explain the concept like it's a good thing. And you haven't got time to go around every, every single star main player and explain to why, you know? No, I don't. I've been trying to explain to you people, and it's, it's getting old really fast. Yeah. Like, no one even bothers to think or look. It's okay, I'm sure. Oh, it doesn't it's do new. exactly what I want it to do, and I'm not going to experiment to make it do it. So, you obviously did it wrong. Yeah. Fix it. I mean, you know, there have been some bugs found, and they've been fixed, because that's how it works. But, yeah, there's no point in just poo-pooing it on a theory basis. You've got to actually... Because I've been messing around, and to be honest, I've found that lasers don't send don't because people were saying that lasers were overpowered i'm finding the opposite i'm finding that block for block um they don't require enough power like i think they need to require more power for like not for the amount of damage it's just that say if i was to compare like i don't know the amc's feel stronger just for the amount of blocks not for the amount of power required and, and definitely for the amount of blocks, the amount of power that's coming off of a beam is way less than I expected it to be. Like, if I was to take a 2,000 block AMC and fire it, it's, it's going to use loads of power. And that balances your sort of mass to system balance, doesn't it? Because you've got to take that decision, or what ratio am I going to have, you know? Um, yeah. So yeah, I've, I've been shocked at how much beam weapons have been able to do in front of me. Yeah, beam weapons are really good, but boy, especially if you if you have it on the with a damage pulse or on a really slow tick and you're fighting a big ship. Yeah, that's yeah, beautiful. That's but that's the thing, people can't think that they can use a damage pulse beam against you know like a beam sorry, I'll say it the other way around to be clear. So a beam with a damage pulse. You go up against a little ship you might not be able to actually hit him enough for it to be worth it. Yeah, imagine a swarm of little ships all shooting beam damage pulse ion cannon. Just removing your shield. And there's too many of them. Your turrets can't hit them, they're too small. Yeah. Where are your shields gonna go? Down the I can imagine it. I'd have imagined it, but everyone else says they tick too slow, their range is too everyone short, they're not doing enough damage. Well, like, the thing is, if you're going to take an old ship, it's a lot of work to gut it and refit it. I don't think people have had enough time. Unless they were working on dev builds, which had, you know, dodgy numbers, basically, because they were all work in progress. Why is there a duck? There's a duck. It's a duck firing green missile. That's not creepy at all. It's rubber duckzilla. <laughs> it's a thing. <laughs> rubber duckzilla is a thing. You can look him up on Facebook. It had to be done. And I'm just checking it out with my review desk. The Mobius no, desk. I got, mm. I got a cookie from making a duck. Mm. Your next Tom, desk on that one? will be a Mobius desk. Tom, so have what? you read the comments for the space duck? No, I'm going to go and have a look in the... Uh, oh, what, for the video or for the chat now? Yeah. So I think people video. are digging the... Uh, yeah, someone's two-year-old son is digging the, yeah, yeah, digging the duck. Happy, yeah, we made a child happy with our Star Maid game. I think that's awesome. <laughs> And that isn't battleships had a bad time. Looks like the duck's just toying with it now. Whoa! Done? Here comes a duck. Have you played with the beam today? Since we uh, yes. tweaked them. Yes. What do you think of that? Well, they seem to be doing... They're doing more damage now. Um, no. No, no, I mean like... Because it's different. Every time I build them, it's different. Because it's never the same size or shape. <laughs> But um, I was trying to use the push. The yeah, yeah. I was trying to use... Sorry, just to say, I used more damage in my hybrid push... Sorry, pull system. So I didn't just go 100% pull, you know? I went like 80% pull. 
and it, and it was still it was actually still quite an effective little tool okay. well 80 80 percent pull is going to remove what 80 percent of the damage right yeah 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 but that was the thing though it was it was good for pulling small ships in close my idea was to pull them into range of like turrets grab works really good on that too yeah true see i haven't tried stop effect yet see it's it's the, the, the weird thing is that um people are going to build like they're used to building because they've been building like it for over a year in many cases and um it's going to take a while to wean people off the idea of a single computer like i've been talking to my mates and they've been like like not on the server just people i know that don't really play the game that much do you know what i'm saying they're just casual and they're like oh it seems like a lot to learn and that's the catchphrase that i'm hearing from a lot of people that is so weird to me because but then they all those are the same the prevalence of things like mmos where you've got a full action bar of you know one to ten abilities why can't you take that idea and apply it to your ship design don't you want to be able to do nine different things don't you want the ability to surprise your well, that's the thing. The creativity. I know. I know. That's what surprised me. I was like, "Where the, uh, where are the rainbows, guys? Where are the rainbows?" Because they're in my heart. Literally, your, sh your ship can shoot rainbows now. Yeah, it can literally shoot rainbows. They're 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 not here. All day today. I, yeah, it's all been not happy people. Yeah, I think. Well, I'm really, if if you. Yeah, please, please understand that they are a minority. They're not. They're not. They can't. Because the thing is, I can't see how this is called progress. It's called right. stepping up the game to the next level. Like, not just letting it stagnate and be everyone joke about it because it's got, it hasn't got this. And, oh, and it's got basic weapons. Because what people used to say, I don't want to play the game because it's just AMC cannons. And now they've got more than AMC right. cannons. That's how I felt about combat. Oh yeah, me too. I actually find it interesting. PvP was just a sort of... I've said this before, I, I, sometimes I find it to be a little incidental. I want it to be balanced, but it's sort of another thing you can do. Until there's like loads of features in the game that make you go out and fight players, it's an option, isn't it? You can just fight players, because that's what an online game is about. Build something and fight them with it. You know, you, so I I really don't see how adding a more diverse weapon system, which let's be fair, is as simple as um, it's as simple as linking a computer. Oh, it's so elegant. It's just, I think it's just there's a lot of confusion about it. I think it's just confusion. Do you know what I mean? I, I think it's a mix of confusion and you know I don't know I don't know. Uh. It's Pulse line, can you uh, get out of the ship, please? And also, this means you can have more power now in a smaller space. Because this is the thing, right? If you were to imagine that, this isn't the number, but if you were to imagine that at 1 million, shields, power, whatever, at 1 million, as soon as you go over that, it's going to be a waste of blocks. Because the amount of mass required to get that number... So, you know, yeah, sure, you can make a gun and it's really big and it fires, and but all you're really doing is taking a shortcut in terms of time. You're not actually, it's, you know, it, you're trading off mass for time so that you can have a shorter engagement. That's all. So you can get your insta-kill. Yeah. And, and I think that the focus on all the different types of attack now it's going to mean people can actually have more fun with it. And fleets will have to have small ships or they won't be effective fleets. Thank God for that. I love the fact that that changes in there because it means that new players to a server, a game, 
have a chance and a role. Yeah, it's true. Because at the moment, when a new player comes along, he's just the smallest little fish in a right. seemingly well, massive ocean. Yeah. Um, Air falls. Can you uh, exit my ship, please? Hey, how are you in his ship? Tap fate. Yeah, I think you tap fate into my ship. Oh, I am so sorry. That That's all right. I just take over yeah. ship. Yeah. I am such a dumbass. I've never done that <laughs> command before. How do I release it? Just press R. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, press R. Yeah, just press R, bro. Anything you've got F on as admin, and it will jump you into the core. Tab plus F8 for anyone that if was listening. Ship. If it's a ship. So, I'm really sorry about that. Hey, no, no, it's cool, it's cool. Well, what I'm going to do... Um, I was literally... I was trying to uh, test out my, uh, my Bobby AI, seeing if he can fire all the different systems I've got on the ship, mate. But, yeah, so, basically... Um, my new theory on the ship design is coming soon in a video which I've got planned. I might stream the making of it, but the basic concept is really simple. It's not to build a ship and put power in it and put big guns on it and then put more power on it and then put shields and then put more power on it and then put, you know, it's just that's a runaway design. That's a runaway design. So what I think you really should be doing is going, okay, this is my regen. I've got this much power. How much shields do I want? How much? How many shields do I think is effective? Work out how much that's going to draw per second, and then work out. Then then work the amount left from. You know, you would subtract the amount of thrust you're going to use and the amount of shields you're going to use, and then you subtract that um, from your total plus your regen per second, right? And then that gives you an amount of power that you have free per second, yeah? And then you just build a gun that uses all that. So, say you've got, um, say you've got a million energy per second free, that's how many blocks you need to put down. Not a million, but you work it backwards. So you, you see what I mean? And so then, when you're firing, you're flying, you're regenning, you don't need 80 million power capacity which is what everyone's doing at the moment they're making power capacity in the billions and it's like that's what makes your ship so big and the reason you need that many power is because you can't possibly feed your weapons with the regen you're using and i'm all about i'm all for people making big ships but you could have more computers you, could, you there's so many things you could be doing with the new combo system and the effects I think if you just tune it. Fun ways of building all of those arrays and Yeah, because like I say, if you actually building tune it. Because like that's that's what I'm saying. Like I've built a couple ships where I tuned it, but they were for the last patch, so I've got to redo them again. So you mentioned what what you're gonna be able to craft a suite of turrets to do other than just pew pew other people. Like if you can't if you can't get excited about Mm. And also all of the visuals and also the visuals as well. They're part the particle effects are coming soon. So it's not like like these colours that we're seeing now, they're awesome. But um it's gonna get it, better. It, it better. sounds like from um this guy in your chat room that uh mm -hmm. a lot of people are misunderstanding how the system even works. Oh let's have a look. Apparently there's inf misinformation in some of the videos out there saying like, Oh you have to add a slave system like you know, you can just you can just split your primary system in half. You get the same damage. Hang on. Yes, we probably do need some new videos to explain it better, and I have got them on the way. But Ryben did one recently. I can't speak to the you know. I, he made one before me, and I was like, cool. So I've linked it a few times. I don't know if you've seen it. Um, but I'll be doing one as well. Like, obviously, I'll be doing many tutorial videos and all of this. But all I'm saying for now is, if you take your gun, if you take the back two thirds off, fire it. Does it fire? Awesome. And then whack on, then double it with a slave system. And then put the last third on with uh, the uh, effect 
of your choice. I think that's a great idea um, for specific content. If, we, if there was a video out there that wasn't just how the new weapons work, but how to retrofit an existing ship. Mm -hmm. like, and, like and also, there is a lot of mis... Yeah, well, the thing is, it's like, I don't know, I know this has turned into a bit of a discussion video as well, guys, so I appreciate you guys hanging about, and if you have any questions, please throw them down, because there's only one guy right now who's uh, got anything to say, and of course you're welcome, if we're doing these kinds of convos, please yeah, do. I'm, I'm sorry to hijack. No, no, it's fine, it's fine, no, I'd, no. I'd, I'd finished. By the time I realized you were streaming, it was too, too late. late, we were already well into the topic, I'm like, oh, they're, they're online. Yeah, <laughs> sorry man. Whoops. No, no, it's cool, Um, but no, because uh, I don't think we ever stopped, actually. Did we stop? No, because we, we were going to stop, and then we didn't, we just kept, we were, I was just, we were just shooting at Zero's battleship, because he disconnected. <laughs> and now it's getting, oh, the, the duck's crying. The duck's crying, man. Are, are you now noticing? Um, all I would say, guys, right, is it's a, in fact, I did explain it in episode one of the weapons testing. Before I even went through any of the testing, I explained how to connect them up, what a master is, what a slave is, and how the ratios work. And that was... I think we did that before we even went through anything. Um, all right, NJ. I know it's going to it's going to take him 30 seconds to hear this response. So <coughs> if you connect your computer, your weapons computer to AMC's, yeah? It's C and V. It's the same system. You just connect the computers together. So your master is the first one you pick and the slave is the second. But the schemas it made it even. Sorry, I, I know my spiels no, are a bit. My spiels are a little long sometimes. Sorry, bro. I've said them so many times now. <laughs> it's great. But schemas made it awesome for you. And now all you have to do is hit. Oh wait, Calmeric Calberry beat me to it. Bollocks. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So push T, and then you can click and drag into the slots. So that works. Um, but I find that you do, what's this? I appreciate it, Tom. Spends most of my time watching children. So I'll be able to evict everything. Ha! <laughs> nice. I appreciate you, uh, keeping up with us as well, bro. Cause I see you on here every now and then in the chat. It's nice. And like I say, we try to keep you abreast. I have literally hundreds of hours of footage for the next, for this, from this patch already. I'm having trouble finding, yeah, I'm having trouble finding the time to, to, to put it out. Like, if I was to, I can't do another hour a day thing, because I'm not, you know, I'm not, don't seem to be getting the views at the moment, so I'm going to wait at least slow. Yeah, I, I did try and keep the system simple. They, that, that was supposed to be one of its merits, is that as far as, uh, a customization setup. It was as simple as we could make it. Oh God! I think it's. I think it's really elegant. I didn't. Ah. Uh... The question of whether people have aligned their their thoughts to the process. There's, you know, I mean, whenever you you make a change that's substantial like this, there will be a grieving process, and I know that it's hard to like watch that and experience that and listen to it but it'll pass yeah it's true oh no no the trick is i have to listen to yeah, it yeah he has to no, go yeah, and you do, wave you have to to i i have he i have to, to take the front and just sit there and be like this is my brainchild and you're stabbing it with a rusty knife <laughs> stop stop it please it, that's funny uh, that is hard but necessary and you've been very diligent about i i, I appreciate it there's people. guys like nj kim who have been misinformed or they don't know how to do the link ups. That's fine. Yeah, Those we're yeah, work. we're not we're not they're raging not, at you, bro, just for the record. They're, they're not the ones. <laughs> There's I, I have gotten messages on the forum on Skype. I have I've I have hate mail. Over a weapon system. People are I'm just sure like up in arms about it and they don't even know what they're talking about. <laughs> that's that's the hard part. I can't like I can't berate them. 
I can't tell them they don't know what they're talking about. I just have to sit there and calmly try to explain how the system actually works, why their problem isn't actually a problem. It's just they don't know the solution. Yeah, I think, because the thing is, you get people, I mean, <laughs> I will know, say, say one thing though, we've been getting a massive resurgence in people joining the server. So even though they're all new players, I think that's fresh. And I think that a lot of people are coming back to this weapon system. And if you're coming in like you didn't, because I can remember the first time I had to learn to link an AMC, I was Thanks, like, Ken. I was like, how the crap? Do you know what I'm saying? I was like, how the crap do I make this work? And and then you learn and then you know. And all this is is an extension of that. A new yeah, learning curve. I, I love that I didn't have to learn anything new to be able to create weapons. Yeah, there wasn't the that learning. Was there is a learning curve, but it's not very, it's not exactly steep. It, it's, it, it's not like Eve. No, it's not like Eve where we're going to force you to spend six years training to for one skill so you can unlock one ship. And then the weapons on it have 18 levels with 13 skills, which, for the record, it can be fun. <laughs> but to be fair, I, I think we have just as much diversity in our weapon systems as they do without the training. You just build the weapon the size you want it, or that the ratio true. you want it. That is true. Like we're not forcing you into three I mean, years of subscription before, <laughs> before you can include, get the good before guns. Before you include the variable ship sizes because that changes everything mm. um, if you take all the current combos and all the ratio percentages for the primary and the tertiary that's 1,280,000 combinations like that, that's how many different um, oh wow different if you, if flavors you, nice. of each weapon that you can have oh in, in all, all the colors all the weapons in all the colors as well. That's not no no. I'm not even including <laughs> the colors. That's just all the different flavors of weapons that you can have, and then add in the size, the damage for each you know weapon system. Then it just goes you know exponential. And yeah, add in the colors, sure. Because I mean, it wasn't high enough already. And then throw in that we're working on the uh, the resistance systems for him now too. And it's just hang on. Oh no, space duck! Did I hit you? No, it's okay. I'm all right. I'm I'm just moving around occasionally to keep you in the shot while we're discussing. See? Yeah, I have to move around because it gets too close. That's all right. See, I've been. Uh, looking at ways of making this easy for people to digest and as far as I can tell the easiest way to explain it is your guns are not one gun anymore they can be up to three guns in a combo obviously one of them's an effect but it does have a big effect it's in the name so if you had a cut if you like I was saying to people if you have a gun it's probably down the down the Z you know running from nose to tail so if you've got that you you delete the back two thirds, double the front half in block size, and then you should have a big old space. And then you don't need to like gut your whole ship because people were like, ah, oh, I think I'm going to gut the whole thing. Yeah, sure, you could do that. And in fact, I'd love it if Smedit was available again so that we could just give people the hollow feature, you know, because then they can go ahead. You know what I mean? But unfortunately, I haven't had a chance to do any updated tutorials on Smedit. So, uh, right, here we go, what's this? So, keep in mind the young and old when you make the videos. Well, the young and old, right? Well, the thing about that as well, just to quickly address age ranges, I try to, I try to keep my channel to be a wide age range. So, as in, not to make it adult focused or child focused try to mix it up but if you've got any ideas which you think you might want to see then please send them to mushroomfleet at gmail.com because I'm always taking on new ideas because um, I've got to admit I am starting to move away from this format which is the live stream everything and then record highlights from the stream for the videos um, 
mainly because there's a lot to edit. I get a lot to edit and um, I think it could be done in a more focused way. So you end up with a lot of unnecessary video, which makes the videos longer, which is okay if you're really into it. Yeah, it's all right if you're really into it, but it's detracts from what you're trying to, you know, because I think a lot of the time with even my videos, they run on for time. And sometimes people don't want to sit there like the weapons demonstrations that I did on the new system, I think they were like half hour each in two parts. So it's not like, oh, I'm just going to get this bullet point list. <laughs> but um, I'm working on some shorter tutorials for people. There is, of course, um, the logic with General Von Doom video. Now, I know it's about logic, um, but that's the style which I want to do the weapons tutorial in. So if you're interested to know what it's going to look like, that. But with weapons. <laughs> um, but um, we've had all kinds of funny complaints come through the TeamSpeak over the new weapons. But every single one has been worked out once you actually speak to the guy. So... Well, that's really interesting, NJ, if you're almost 60. Because, uh, like I say, we've got, I get some really old viewers in my metrics. Like, and sometimes I just assume that it's a kid on someone's grandparents. No offense. But um, I, we never hear from anybody in the older age ranges. So, like, that's really fresh, actually. I kind of like that. So, like, do you play the game or do you just follow the uh, content? Because if you play the game, I'd love to know what sci-fi inspires you, being twice my age. I think that would be interesting. Great question. Mm. So, yeah. If he says Space 2001 and I built a big monolith and docked it on a planet and just jumped around with a little bone in my hands, oh, that's awesome. Huh? With an obelisk of flexors. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing, right? It'll probably take ages for him to come back through. But, um, yeah, cheers to everybody for sticking with us through this discussion, though, because it's been really interesting. I think I am going to call it to a close, so I'm going to give NJ a chance to to respond, and then we'll probably say goodbye to you guys. I'll be back tomorrow. I think what we're going to do, by popular demand, will be, I think we'll do two ultimate grassroots tutorials. He has enough of the weapons, he's not worried about the logic. Right, well in that case I definitely have to do it. So yeah, I think that tomorrow what we'll be doing is a live stream on the logic. So if you miss it, don't forget, just click on Mushroom Fleet on Twitch. There's a past broadcasts tab and you can check it all out there. In fact, that is the quickest way at the moment to get my content because you'll see stuff there which isn't going to turn up on the YouTubes for weeks. So if you ever are bored, go and rewatch some of the uh, uh, past broadcasts. So yeah. Yeah. Also, um, if you want to see any of my responses, check the news posts. I frequently reply to people's uh, on the threads there. Nice. Well, thanks, Calberry, for joining us. Thanks to Yelby and Plus Nine for hanging out, and thanks to all of you guys for uh, watching the stream. And uh, we'll be back tomorrow, probably two. I'm gonna probably do the same thing twice so that everyone gets to see it. So uh, yeah, thanks again, and I'll see you all next time.